Good morning nga pala. Um, I just want you to share my basic online library system. So, first of all, this is our login page. Ito po yun. And then, meron tayong 3 users. Una. Una is si admin. Um, let's wait for a while. Um, mali. Admin 1, 2, 3. Admin 1, 2, 3. Ayun. So, si admin makikita niya list of users. And then, he has the ability to ban users. Ito po. So, second, meron tayong student. Pangatlo, meron tayong library yan. So, to test this one, student, logout, then student, password student. Uh, actually, for student, we can register. Student 2. Ayan, for student 2, we have home and history. History, ito yung list of books na nakapending or mga nabarrow niya so here we have our basic search and then if you want to reserve ayan so meron tayong trappings dito um, someone request for reservation that means you and then kung si student naman is magre reserve again hindi pwede kasi yung student is only allowed to reserve once um, ito kasi yung policy ng client ko. So, that's it. When we click history, makikita niya dito na meron siyang nakapending. Pwede niya i-cancel. Kung gusto niya, ayan. Cancel. Pagka-cancel niyan is available na ulit si no limit ang eh. So, that's for our second user. The third is the librarian which makes the dirty working si librarian yung mag approve ng reservation magka-cancel siya rin yung mag-create ng book mag-i-edit ng book at mag-delete ng books um, ano pa ba pwede din siyang mag-automatic reserve dito then in history makikita niya lahat as what I've said a while ago history then sa report naman makikita niya dito lahat ng report uh, mga, mga nangyayari among all the students and kung ano yung mga books na binaraw nila ano yung mga list of student names na nagbaraw ng mga books and then you can choose add between two dates for your reports yun lang po so if you think na kailangan nyo to sa system nyo eh, just email me and then let's talk about yung student price. Opo, sige, salamat.